First of all, thanks. It's so great to see you in the flesh and studio. You've been my favorite for a long time. I started reading your work a long time ago, and it's like, you get it. you got it before everyone else. And you wrote those wild waves with uh, NVIDIA when many folks gave up on it. So let's talk about the AI journey, maybe from even 1950 to where we are now, because it feels like it's getting exponentially faster. If I were to point to anything in the since 1950 onward, it was really that hopper generation. It brought to market the transformer engine. And when you think of chat GPT, the T stands for transformer. Once NVIDIA really started pushing forward that product roadmap, AI surged, applications could finally enter the market. It was so weird though, because chat, chat GPT, at least the last version, uh, came out, it felt like an innocuous earn, uh, report, you know, introducing chat GPT. It was on, I guess, October, November 2022. It, there wasn't any fanfare, and yet instantaneously it changed the world. It really is that self-learning feature around AI, and that is where we saw this massive breakthrough, and you started to see it quantified with big tech CapEx. Uh, they started to exponentially grow the billions of dollars that they're spending on GPUs, and that has not stopped, if anything, this year has grown above and beyond what analysts were expecting. Yeah, that's another thing. Right? <laughs> Wall Street keeps saying, okay, they can't keep spending this much money, and they keep spending more, even more money, and this is where you've always said that Wall Street was getting this story wrong. I would encourage to keep looking for Wall Street might get it wrong. In fact, right now we have a little bit of a road bump coming tonight. The H20s could create a $15 billion revenue loss. That would be primarily- That's from the ban, the China that's from, ban. That's from the China ban. Now that will primarily hit in Q1 and Q2. That would be missing the picture. We have Blackwell finally ramping. We have the green light on this massive generation. The last time NVIDIA released a massive generation, the stock surged. It was two years ago. You and I were talking then, and that is coming in Q3. Uh, the, the AI rack issues, uh, Blackwell rollout, all part and parcel of the same issues, that's all resolved. And when we talk about those issues, Charles, $100 billion is pointed at that skew. This is the NVL 72. Uh, now China's 15 billion. That skew alone is 100 billion. The, it, it, you cannot like underestimate the importance of that skew, and it is finally ramping. We've been waiting for this. If you're an Nvidia bull, you are wanting those NVL 72s to ship, and they are shipping now in Q2, ramping full volume Q3. The data center story is, am is amazing. You know, it's 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 come out of nowhere. I just read where it was 1% of GDP uh, in, this, in the first quarter. Now people are wondering, though, will we have the power? Can we actually have the power to live up to the hype? That is an excellent question, and I think that is the question come 2026. We have hundreds of billions pointed at those GPUs. Everyone is trying to get those GPUs. Once those GPUs are delivered, the next challenge really is that power. I would keep an eye on having AI data center energy stocks in a portfolio ahead of 2026. So we've got the earnings. Uh, we've got the, um, the, the, the street, I think, the average price target. Here it is right here. So this is, we got, everyone's a moment to buy, right? You got 54, 52 buys, 11 overweights, which is the same thing. Interesting, one sell rating on it. Uh, and one, and of course, the street's a buy. Also the targets, the average targets, a, a few points from here. Uh, I know you don't, you're more of a long-term person, but the average street is looking for 163. You, you'd see this going much higher than that, right? Ultimately. You know I'm bold. <laughs> <laughs> if this stock can hold 95 on any weakness, I see it going from mid to high 200s on Blackwell and Blackwell Ultra this time next year. The call tonight, what do you anticipate hearing? What would you like to hear? What could be the key, right? Because to your point, they had a few hiccups in the rear view mirror. What can Jensen say tonight, though, that makes everyone singularly focused on the future, even, even the skeptics? Yeah, on one hand, I do think there could be a miss in either Q1 or Q2, and I think he will fully focus on unit numbers of Blackwell shipping, especially with partners like Dell, uh, and those unit numbers will allow analysts to raise those forecasts come Q3, Q4. I got uh, 30 seconds. What are some of the other AI plays, right? Because it feels like the story is beginning to broaden out here. I am a big fan of a, uh, NVIDIA suppliers that also supply custom silicon. So we know Amazon is spending $100 billion on Tranium. One stock that's sandwiched between these massive players is Astera Labs. What's the symbol there? A lab. A lab. Oh, yeah, you're not the only one. A lot of our uh, some of my favorite guests all like A lab. I just love the chart, it looks fantastic. Beth, you're absolutely amazing.